Hi and welcome to uh, this lesson about pentatonic scales uh, to the 2-5-1 chord progression. Uh, I, ha I call it uh, pentatonics part 2 uh, because there is a part 1 and it's in the link beside me right now. I do this lesson because uh, I got some mails uh, from people will ask me to do more of the lesson about pentatonic scales and how to use them and how to develop how to use them in different situations and on different chords and so on. So I think it fits to do it with the 2 5 one chord progression and it's uh, in G here. So it's uh, A minor 7, D7, Major 7. That's the chord progression. And I will split it up in three parts uh, with different uh, pentatonic scales. And I always talk about the minor pentatonic scales here. So, so on the A, A minor chord I will say I play E minor pentatonic scale. I think it's uh, easy, easier to understand uh, what scale I use then. Um, I hope so, anyway. So, on A minor, E minor pentatonic scale. And what you get here is, um, I start from the root in the chord. You get the root, you get the ninth. Uh, you get the perfect fourth, the perfect fifth. And the minor seventh. Okay. When D7 comes, you will go up a semitone to the F minor pentatonic scale. Okay. And what you get here, you don't get any root uh, tone, but you have the m m flatted nine, raised nine, uh, raised. 4th and raised 5th and the 7th. So it's a lot of altered tones uh, here to the D7 chord and on G major 7 chord you go up uh, a semitone again to the F sharp minor pentatonic scale. And you don't uh, have any root uh, tone here either, uh, but you have the major 7th uh, tone, you have the ninth. you have the major 3rd, you have the raised 11 uh, or 4th, and you have the major 6th. And this tone is uh, quite a lot of tension in this, uh, so it's, uh, I think it's a good one, yes. Okay, so I, I put this, these uh, scales in uh, context, uh, so you can hear how it sounds like. <laughs> you get here is um, you have the root, you have the ma minor third, you have the perfect fourth, perfect fifth and minor seventh. So it's very much inside here. Okay. 
to the next chord B7. Uh, I play the G minor pentatonic scale. What you get here, you get the root, and you get uh, have the raised nine, perfect fourth, uh, raised fifth, and the minor seventh. So uh, you have some altered tones in this too. And on the G major. Seven, and you get the semitone down to the F sharp minor pentatonic. As it was in, in the last uh, part. But you have the major seven, ninth, major third, raised eleven, and major sixth tone. Okay. So this is how it sounds in context with these scales. And the last one I will show here uh, is this one, uh, A minor 7 chord. I play the B minor pentatonic. Okay, and here you get um, uh, the root, the ninth, the perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and the major sixth. Then the D7, you go up a semitone to the C minor pentatonic. And here you have the flatted 9, raised 9, perfect 4th, raised 5th and minor 7. So again some altered tones here and when you come come to G major 7 you go back uh, to the B minor pentatonic scale again okay uh, and the the tones have another function here from the A minor so so um, what you get here is the major 7 tone Ninth, the major third, perfect fifth, major uh, sixth tone. Okay, but it's nice to to play A minor here. You play the B minor pentatonic and go up to the C minor on D seven and back. I think it's a very nice uh, progression here. And it sounds like this in context. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, here you have three different uh, progressions here in the scales, the same uh, chord progression but different scales. Uh, and you can also mix them. So if you say we start on B minor, you can go to F minor. And to F sharp minor. Or you can start on A minor. So, uh, and I like to play on the 251 with these uh, pentatonic scales and maybe you can come up with more uh, alternatives than this. And uh, I can recommend uh, if you're not used to, to uh, play with uh, the altered tones on the D7 or the sharp 11 on on the G major tones that make some tension that if you're not used with that kind of tension in in the soloing um, I can recommend to uh, uh, practice it <laughs> of course practice it that's the main thing and um, uh, uh, you more the more you play it the more you get used to it of course uh, but use motives when you play so if I play here So, so you, you you have a rhythmic motif and work with that when you change the scale to the next chord, um, and that's a great way to to get your solos together and uh, get a flow in it uh, in general. Yeah. So I hope you get uh, some uh, information here that will be worth something for you. And feel free to ask me or uh, you can also send me mail and come up with uh, subjects that I can do lessons on. Uh, I will, uh, uh, it's very much appreciated from here. Okay. So, uh, have a great day and uh, hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. <laughs>